Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about the trading post and more specifically we're going to talk about all of the brand new items coming to the trading post in April of 2023. Uh, but before we jump into that guys I just want to shout out my Twitch twitch.tv slash mrgm. If you want to see me stream World of Warcraft, Dragonfly, Dragonfly PTR and more over on twitch.tv slash mrgm every single day. Right so yes it is a new month of the trading post. Uh, if the audio sounds a bit weird I'm currently traveling so maybe yeah I'm using a different mic in a different room and stuff like that. Either way, hopefully it sounds okay. Uh, so let's talk about April. April is called Spring in Your Step, and the monthly reward for April uh, for filling out the Traveler's Log is the Arsenal Blades of a Loon, which is a one-handed sword transport. Looks pretty great. Uh, obviously, just kind of a loon themed, druidy themed. I don't think druids can actually use this, as far as I'm aware, uh, which is funny. But yeah, there you go. You have the one-handed sword uh, transport, which is going to be available if, if you fill out the Traveler's Log for the month of April. So let's jump into the brand new trading post items for April. Uh, there's some pretty good ones in here. So uh, yeah, uh, first and foremost, we have a brand new mount. Yes, we finally have a mount back on the trading post uh, since the Celestial Steed. It is now the Reigns of the Magenta Cloud Serpent. Now, this was data mined previously. Uh, it will set you back 900 traders tender. Yes, this is a new color of the Cloud Serpent mount, and I think it looks really great. Uh, purple has not really been used in the Cloud Serpent stuff, so I think this is definitely going to be one that people pick up. Uh, obviously, 900 tender is a lot, especially if you spent all of it last month, but if you have some saved up, definitely worth grabbing or just freezing it for the month until the next time. Uh, the next item is the Ensemble Corrupted Rune Lords Regalia. This is actually a brand new transmog uh, for cloth users, so priests, mages, and warlocks. Uh, looks pretty cool, looks pretty interesting, a little bit druidy, which is interesting, but maybe a little bit more warlocky or something like that, I don't know. Uh, either way, it looks really cool. There's kind of some tattoos underneath it as well, which hopefully will work, uh, because sometimes the tattoos don't seem to work on this trading post stuff. Uh, so yeah, this is a brand new uh, Ensemble coming for cloth users, of course. There's also a new pet this month called Eggbob. This is a recolor of the Children's Week reward uh, Eggbert. So this is a green kind of variant of that. Uh, this will set you back 600 traders tender as well. Pretty cool looking pet, obviously, as mentioned, uh, the original one, the Eggbert pet is relatively easy to get. So yeah, up to you really. 600 is pretty steep though. Uh, the next item is a exclusive hunter item, so I'm very happy about this. This is the Ensemble Trapper's Munitions. So this is really interesting, actually. So this is actually two bag pieces. So the, the first one is obviously a quiver, which is really cool. And then the other one is like a little bag that goes on the back of your belt there uh, with some arrows and whatnot on it. So a really big fan of that. As mentioned, it is exclusive to hunters. Uh, so if you don't have a hunter, uh, maybe probably not worth getting, but it is 500 tender for these two back piece uh, ensemble pieces. The next item is the Gilded Draconid Morning Star. This is a one-handed mace. This is a recolor of a one-handed mace from Ultraxian in the Dragon Soul Raid. So if you don't have this already, it is a really nice recolor of this weapon from Cataclysm. Uh, that will set you back 450 tender. The next item is a two-handed weapon, and this is the Crimson Nexus Crescent. This is actually a brand new model. This is a two-handed axe appearance. Uh, going to cost you 225 tender. It is really cool. I love the black and red coloration. Very similar to like a, a Scarlet Crusade sort of look to it, which is kind of nice. Uh, been a lot of data mines Scarlet Crusade stuff recently, so this is really cool to see this coming in. Uh, and this will be available uh, in the month of April for 225 tender, as mentioned. Uh, next up are two kind of Librams. So these are offhand appearances, which are, I believe, two brand new appearances. You have the Librum of the Righteous Light, which is available for 225 tender, and the Tome of the Cinderized Secrets, which is also available for 225 tender. Now, obviously, this one is Blood Elf themed. The other one is very Alliance themed in a sense, but it does look like there is no particular faction restriction on it, though, which is really nice. So, yeah, really cool to see that. So, if you you know if you're a Void Elf or something like that, and you want to use this offhand uh, transmog, that will be available to you, it seems. And as mentioned, those two are 225 tender. The next item is the Fist of Polar Fury. So this is a recolor of the famous Fist Weapon Pride. It is a blue recolor. Not really sure why the trading post shows it like this. It's a really bad way to show that weapon, but it is a very cool weapon. It's kind of like a big bear face with some fire coming out of it. It's 175 tender if you want it. It's a one-handed fist weapon as mentioned so it is the fist of polar fury the next item is a new helm transmog this is the red pilf helmet it's kind of like a safari hat i believe it's a recolor of the safari hat toy appearance so we finally can 
have this as a regular appearance at 175 tender. Uh, really cool item. I'm not really sure why the original wasn't uh, just a transmog item, but it is really nice to see this coming in. Uh, if that is something you can do, and you know, there's a ton of different transmogs you can add it to there as well. So yeah, 175 tender for the red pilf helmet. The next one is another offhand transmog called the Forsaken Crescent. Uh, so this is 100 tender, so very, very cheap. Uh, looks all right. Obviously, Forsaken, very specific. But yeah, if you want to kind of rock this with, uh, you know, a, a one-handed sword or something like that, uh, that is going to be available to you. Speaking of swords, we have the Honed Bastard Sword. Uh, this is actually a recolor of the Expedition Sword, the, the, like, the weapon that you get at the start of the game. Uh, so it's one of the kind of basic sword appearances. But yeah, it's just a new recolor of that in a kind of gray variant. But yeah, it's a really nice looking sword. This was added, I believe, in Shadowlands uh, with Exile's Reach. So yeah, this is uh, going to be available for 100 tender. Uh, the next one is another offhand. Yeah, I know. It's kind of crazy. Uh, this is the Watchman's Flare. Once again, uh, a new model. Uh, does use the same model as the Forsaken Crescent, just in more of a light coloration, uh, which is really cool. So that is going to be available for only 100 tender. So, you know, if you're, <laughs> if you're using offhands, as Transmog, you're eating well in the month of April. Our penultimate Transmog is the Drape of Foreboding Mist. This is actually a longer version of the Death Knight Nighthold Tear Cloak. Yeah, that is very, very specific. Uh, this is available for everybody, so if you do want to add this to your collection on any of your classes, uh, that will be available to 100 Tender. Uh, and the final item is the Fine White Evening gloves. This is super interesting and correct me if I'm wrong. I think this is the first glove model to go all the way up the arms. You can see here it goes nearly up to the shoulder there, uh, which is just brilliant. I've, as I said, never ever seen that. If, there ha if it has happened before, uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's actually fantastic. Uh, and that is going to be available at 100 tender. So yeah, there you go. That is all of the available items on the trading post for the month of April 2023. Personally, I don't think it's the strongest stock we've had, but I do really like the Magenta Cloud Serpent. And I think some of the weapon models are really cool as well. And obviously, if you're a cloth user, you have a brand new ensemble as well. So yeah, let me know what you think of the trading post rewards for April 2023. So yeah, there you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please do leave a like on it and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to support me outside of YouTube, I also have a Patreon, and I'm on Twitter at MrGMYT. Uh, and of course, I have a Discord channel as well. And, and as mentioned, I am streaming on Twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you want to check me out streaming Dragonflight, Dragonfly PTR, Rapid Chicken Classic, any sort of World of Warcraft, I'm over on Twitch.tv slash MrGM every single day. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.